Hey, so I'm having some trouble with my uh, M laser laser bot or make block laser bot. And I still have yet to even cut anything with it besides this goddamn test pattern. Uh, and then a bunch of test squares to try and get it to cut accurately. Um, and that's where I'm having the problem. So let me show you what I've tried. And I really hope that you can uh, see something I'm doing that's wrong and come up with a solution. Uh, so I've tried all sorts of different methods. Uh, the first and most obvious being uh, using Make's Blo Make Block's own software. Um, so let me show you the drawing I've made here in Illustrator. Okay, it's just a bunch of squares and each square is exactly one centimeter and each uh, square is exactly one centimeter away from each other square. Okay, so when printed, this is what you get. And you can see, just to make sure that um, my printer isn't the thing that's screwing up, uh, I have measured and it is, uh, it is accurate. There you go. Okay. So um, I did this, and if you just input it into uh, the make block software, um, you get something like this. Okay. So you can see uh, this is using uh, M laser, and I set the dimensions of the um, of the of the uh, what is it artboard I guess in M laser to uh, 190 by 250 millimeters, and you can see right here uh, that is exactly the dimensions of these squares. So when you import into M laser, it doesn't uh, take into account the artboard, right? It just takes into account the uh, edges of whatever image you're trying to cut. Okay, so you can see this is exact. Um, and not only did it fail to cut out all the squares, leaving sort of a little knob on each of these, um, but it took a corner off of one of these. Uh, this little thing is from me just slightly bumping into the table, so Trust me, it really doesn't have much of an effect on the overall outcome. Um, and as you can see from our original uh, drawing right here, let's line it up, or try to anyways, uh, it is not even close to being correct. So let's put that square there, and you can see each subsequent square uh, is just really far off the mark. Okay, and it's the further away it gets from one of the things, uh, the further away, or the, the worse the uh, error is. Okay, so that's one method tried. Then uh, I decided to try and create my own G-code and just use G-code mode uh, on MLaser. And so that's what I did. And I use two methods of generating G-code. One, I use G-code tools in Inkscape to create some G-code. Um, and I'll show you the result of that. Uh, this is the resultant G-code, okay, from uh, that original image, you know, this image. This is the G-code for that, okay? And this is default settings. Uh, I did write a little JavaScript program here to remove things like the uh, z-axis, um, as well as some things that G-code or uh, M-Laser just can't handle. Uh, so for instance, M2s uh, and uh, Inkscape does G01 uh, as opposed to just G1. Um, and I also made sure to put a uh, my own sort of custom footer on the bottom to uh, return the uh, the carriage back to the origin and turn the laser off. Okay, so this is the resultant code, or I'm sorry, this is the resultant code of uh, using Inkscape and uh, G-code tools. And uh, this is the result right here. Um, so let's see how this one fares. Um, let's line it up on our image. And 
it's better than uh, M laser because it cut out the squares completely. But as you can see, it still is off by a pretty consistent factor. Like the further you get away from one of the corners, uh, the worse it gets, okay? So that leads me to believe it's a scaling issue. You know, like maybe it's translating things, uh, making it slightly bigger than it should be, okay? So then the other method I did with G-Code tools uh, is I rounded everything to centimeters, right? So this is essentially what you would get if you did it by hand, okay? So these are nice round numbers. Uh, and of course, each coordinate in uh, G-Code corresponds to one millimeter uh, in reality, or it should. Uh, but as you can see, with the, even the rounded example, which is here, uh, it does not work. It's the same problem, okay? So the further you get away from one of the corners, uh, the more pronounced the, the difference is here. Okay, so all of these um, all of these tests have kind of led me to believe that this is maybe a scaling problem. So uh, in that same code that you saw here, uh, I wrote something where I can actually adjust the scale right of each uh, G code coordinate. Okay, and you can see I've tried a bunch of different numbers here that are all commented out now. And right now it's just back on normal scale. So this doesn't do anything to it. Um, so the reason besides the test that I thought this was a scaling problem is with, uh, within uh, M laser's own test pattern, you know, like the little M uh, with the, the ruler on it, the scaling of that is not correct. So let me show you. This is the code, okay? I made a copy of it, but this is the code, right, for um, the test pattern, okay? And what's interesting is, if we go to Chrome here, I'm using a, a nice, really nice program uh, to visualize G-code. So you can see in here that the distance, so right now we're looking at this presumably a millimeter ruler right here, okay? The distance between the Y coordinates on these cuts, right, is not exactly one millimeter, okay? So this is, here, it's a really nice feature. Uh, you can, let's see, well, it should work. There we go, okay. So when you click on one of these coordinates, okay, it will make it uh, colored on here, okay? So we can click on that and that uh, and see Which, which ones we're talking about here. So I used this program and I looked through the code and I found that across the board, the difference between uh, millimeter marks uh, in the test file were not one millimeter. They were actually 0 0.9904 millimeters, okay? So what this means is even though the test pattern comes out accurately, whoever made it, I guess, knew that it wasn't to scale, like knew that M laser or the, the stepper motors or something on here wasn't gonna translate uh, one millimeter to one millimeter. So they actually scaled down everything by a factor of 0 0.9904, which is, I don't know, it seems slightly dishonest. Uh, I asked the engineers, or I asked on the MakeBlock forum, uh, what program they used to create the uh, resultant G code for the test pattern. And they said they used MLaser. Um, it's a really weird error. I mean, you would think they'd look at the G code, and since it's you know a ruler, they would um, check to make sure that the G code says one millimeter corresponds to one millimeter you know, on the actual physical ruler that is printed. So when I do the test pattern, right, it actually prints an accurate ruler, um, which I have no idea how it does that. Um, it's bizarre, it's really weird. Okay, so I've tried scaling it. Um, as you can see, I've tried all sorts of different scales um, on the, uh, you know, here. Uh, none of them are correct. 
Uh, they're all incorrect. Um, and it seems like any time the motors move, um, it becomes uh, incorrect, okay? So it's not just like a scaling issue, right? You can't just uh, shrink or increase an image and it'll be correct because that's not how it works. It's any movement, right, makes it more incorrect. So it's not a uniform incorrectness across the entire image. Uh, so that's a real pain in the ass. Because it means that even if I were to, let's say, you know, find the magic number that I could scale the images with, uh, I still couldn't accurately cut things. So um, another thing that's kind of bad is I'm wondering if this is more a result of some sort of defect in the manufacturing of maybe some of the aluminum parts. Because, uh, where did I put it? Because, if anyone sees a uh, iron L square in here, uh, messy room. Hmm. Well, you're just going to have to take my word for it, I guess, until I can maybe turn this thing up. Anyways, if you look at these burned uh, patterns here, okay, you can see I've tried a billion test squares. Uh, I've tried some circles, uh, and I have tried some lines, okay? So these lines here uh, and here, right, are uh, some G code I wrote just by hand, actually, and it says keep... Uh, the x-axis uh, at zero, okay, and just increase y to 300, okay, and then do the same thing here for x, increase x to 300 and keep y at zero. So this presumably would be if uh, the, uh, only one of the motors, right, uh, is working, okay, so to move it this way, right, it just needs this motor, okay, so only this motor is gonna be working. And it should, if there's an error, uh, not affect how this line is made, right? Because there's only one motor controlling this line. So I was trying to see you know, which motor, if either of them uh, were screwed up. Because I assumed that maybe it would actually make straight lines, but, and I found the thing I was looking for, with this trusty uh, L square, Thing, we can actually see, to my horror, that it is not even making straight lines with just a single motor, okay? So if we line up one of the axes, axes, I'm sorry, axes, I know I've been saying that wrong the entire time, here, okay, you can see that's lined up nice and the origin is lined up nice, but as we get away from the origin, that becomes worse and worse, okay? And you know, obviously same things happens if we correct this line and line it up, and have it nicely tucked away here in the origin. And then you can see this axis, uh, axes, is uh, totally wrong now. So I'm guessing maybe something got bent. I mean, I've gone over this thing a hundred times uh, and tightened every bolt it looks good. I don't know why this would be doing that. Um, it's really weird. So I think there's some sort of fundamental problem uh, with the, the driver. Um, I'm thinking that it's giving incorrect instructions to the stepper motors. Um, maybe there's actually sort of like a voltage leak. I don't know, that might account for this moving slightly. Um, it's weird. So I've tried a lot. I've yet to be able to use this for anything practical. Uh, the original reason I bought this thing was because I wanted to cut out stickers, okay? I wanted to make a sheet of stickers and just be able to cut out circles. So, you know, something that on the surface seems pretty easy. I've wasted days trying to get this thing to work. Not to mention that when I got it, uh, it was missing these pieces of plastic, okay? And so I had to wait a couple weeks and you know, make my case to tech support that they weren't in there to start with. So it sucks. 
So I hope that there's some sort of fix so I can cut out my stupid stickers. Um, I will, uh, I guess, try and paste the G code on the YouTube video. Uh, it may be too much. I can also, you know, put this on GitHub. Um, so maybe you can see that I did something wrong there. I hope I did something wrong because I'm out, you know, 300 plus dollars and I can't, I can't use this thing for anything. It's not even, it's not even consistently inaccurate. You know, it's, <laughs> there's no way to put a pair of spectacles on this thing and correct it. It's just totally garbage. Um, so thank you. Um, I know I've done a lot of hating on uh, MakerBlock in this, or MakeBlock, or however they call themselves. Uh, this, I've had good experience with them in the past. Um, I don't know if it's here. No, it's not. Well, anyways, I built one of their little robots, uh, and it was really well designed and worked really well. Um, I think it was just like the basic robot kit, had little like tank treads, it was great. So when I wanted to make a laser cutter, I bought this product. Uh, unfortunately, not so great. So no hate on MakeBlock, um, just please help. Okay, thank you.